Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a small closet makeover. As you can see, this is my closet before. There are bags to donate. There are all sorts of things everywhere, things on the floor. So come along with me for this journey. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up if you like organization. Honestly, it has totally changed my life. If you want more from me, please go ahead and sign up with the link down below, I have a free five day mini course to help you get started on your organizational journey, get you really cracking and ready to go in just five days. So go ahead and sign up down below. And with all that said, let's start organizing. So if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that my process when it comes to organizing is to really be able to assess my space. And that means taking everything out as much as I can, especially if I have a big chunk of time, which doesn't happen often with little kids. But if I have an hour or two, you can get a real amount, a real meaningful amount of work done in that time. So I'm taking everything out of my closet. It is a small closet, so I guess, you know, there's a limit to how much is in there, but it was really jam packed as you saw. You gotta take everything out so that you can really assess your space and figure out what the best thing is. Because if you're organizing, the way you were doing it before is probably not working. One of the obvious benefits of removing everything from the space that you're organizing is that you really get to clean it because let's be real, how often are we cleaning behind cabinets or bookshelves, really just giving things a good wipe. So I like to do that. And the best way to do that is to take everything out. So that's what you see me doing here. Seen you clearer than now. We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds. We're going out of ourselves. Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're doing our thing, we're like wheels that won't stop turning. So take me on a trip, 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 now. Trip, trip, trip. Oh, I flick the switch, kill the lights. Oh, I wasted. City lights are shining so bright. All these empty faces. And I can't believe it, but we're already at the part where I'm starting to put things back, hang things up. One of the reasons I wanted to do this project was because I had all of these nice clothes hidden in my closet that I had no idea about. Uh, I had thought it was a good idea to fold up a lot of my dresses. Not a good idea because I never saw them and I never wore them. And what's the point of that? So. That's what I'm doing, putting everything back, and that is a reward for all your hard work for clearing it all out. It feels so good. Okay, so I didn't get off that easy. I still had all of the things on my bed. Uh, and this is where the real decisions came in because I had to figure out if I was, what I was gonna keep, what I was gonna donate. I like to use the method of things that obviously I like. I keep those first. Then I have a maybe pile of things that I'm not so sure about. And then I have the definite no's. And usually the definitely keep and the definite no's, those are easy, but it's the maybe pile that you know keeps us all in limbo and prevents us from being organized. So try and be strict with yourself about the maybe pile. Use criteria like how long ago did I actually wear this? How does this make me feel? If I don't feel like a million bucks, is it really worth it? You know, all those kind of things that'll help you determine whether to keep it or not. And once you've put the definites back in your closet, you can see if there's any space to put in the maybes.
So let me know in the comments below how you like to store and organize your clothes. So I typically hang up dresses, I actually hang up pants, and now I've started to hang up like nice tops so that I can actually see what I want to wear. So you'll see me putting a lot of things on hangers. I'm really gonna utilize that space because I can see clothes so much more easily. And I feel like it's much easier to put things back on hangers than to be folding all the time. Don't get me wrong, I'm all about the Mari Kondo and I love all of that. <laughs> but it does take much more time. I'm trying to squish it into small little boxes and I think it's just much easier to be able to see everything on display if you are able to hang things up. But let me know how you organize your shirts and t-shirts and things like that. Stuck on the ocean now Nothing but waves in this villain in I want to dry up but you Just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here All my reasoning have disappeared I want to bury the hatchet And find the way back to our home Our home, our home We don't have to drift Inside this dome not let us fade away it's not a price i want to pay and it's not too late no we lost our purpose chasing all that surplus you were all that i need i feel that we can break free we can still go back there to a place with no cares we can turn this ship around we can turn this ship around all the way back home But nevertheless, we were true to each other But now we don't even bother I remember you being hopeful But the tall waves have worn us down And slowly we are drowning That's why you need to come with me With me, with me Turn around 180 degrees And cross the sea Okay, I just realized that I actually can do this cupboard in a much more thoughtful way. So I'm going to change this bookshelf thingy around totally. So you'll see now I've actually moved all of my clothes. Let's see, where, where are they? I've moved them all to the other side, which I think is better. And we're gonna try that out because of this thing. So I actually wanna hang up 
my yoga mat, and maybe like a box or something. I'm a big fan of using hanging space. So I'm gonna try it this way. I've never had, had all the long dresses go this side. And you know, sometimes you just need a new perspective. Let's see how this goes. So now, so the reason I never, I have never done it this way is because there's this little like hole down here, but maybe there's a way I can fill it up or just get used to it. I don't know. So here's a look at what we're dealing with now. Shoes at the top. I rearranged. These are kind of things that I don't use very much right at the back there. I have everything hanging, which feels really nice. So we can actually see what the heck is going on. Like there's shirts in here and things that I have not worn in years because I just never see them. So we'll try it out. I'm liking the look of this already. Hi guys, so it's been a few days since I filmed my closet reboost. And you know, the shelf was on its side and I feel like I can make it work a little bit better. So I've taken everything out again. And I wanted to just show you this because, you know, when you're organizing, sometimes it doesn't work the first time or there are better ways to do it. So I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I don't have much time before my kids come back. So I'm gonna quickly do this and then I'm gonna work on my next project, which is to try and sort out. That doesn't even look that bad, but there's all the stuff inside these cupboards and shelves and uh, I wanna try to sort that out because since I have sort of systematically gone through my whole apartment and organized various elements like my pantry, my kitchen, my fridge, my closet, my bathroom, my husband's closet. Honestly, it's like life-changing. It is life-changing. So I want to just put all this stuff back and then film another video. Okay, bye. This looks way better, so I'm gonna show you what I ended up doing. The top is the same, but I've just changed the shelf so it's on its side. So just consider all of your options, the best use of your space. I've hung up my backpack over there. Using hooks in a small space is really, really important. My bag is here, my hats. I mean, I really don't have a big closet, like this is it. See, it's tiny. Do, 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 do. It's literally like the width of a door. So, and I don't have a lot of clothes, but still, it's not, it's not very much. Definitely gave the husband a bigger, a bigger closet. Ooh, that needs like to be greased. But yeah, on to the next project. So here's an upcoming video of me organizing my desk and cabinet in our bedroom. Since COVID, we have been, you know, using a desk in our bedroom, which is not normal. So I took to organizing all kinds of things and here's a little sneak peek of the chaos. If you like organization videos, don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate it so, so much. I hope to see you guys soon. And if you wanna see more from me, don't forget to sign up for my free mini course. All the details are in the description bar below. Here's a sneak peek of it. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel so that you can hear more about it because I'm going to be launching a very exciting course very soon. And with all that said, I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye!